Hey there everyone, uh, welcome. I want to talk about a little bit about this uh, console stereo that I want on an online, a local online auction company. Uh, I'm not sure what year this was released. I think it was from 1958. Well, I shouldn't say released. This one is from 1958. It said it was a uh, Magnavox Imperial. Uh, the model number on the back was 1ST231L, which I'm having issues finding this particular uh, console stereo. But that's okay. It is in really great condition. And there's my cat Ezra checking it out there in the back. Uh, really great condition. The stereo still works. The turntable um, spins, but uh, I'll let you hear what kind of noise it makes. Uh, screwdriver and the screws are uh, from the back and I took off. Uh, speaker selector, which is actually a quite nice um, setup that they've got there on, on the speaker setup. Uh, and then of course record storage there. I said there's there's a couple of dings here and there, but for its age, in really great condition. It still powers up. It still sounds great. There's the turntable. This is where they got the idea that it was in a Magnavox Imperial. It still has its original 45 adapter. Um, other than the turntable itself, uh, this control knob here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. Uh, oh, I just broke it even further. It's got a crack in it, so I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to try to glue it first before finding a replacement. But I won't do that again for a while. And then, of course, the selector here. I can't get it back on there. What did I do? I broke it. There we go. Um... We have the radio here, AM, FM, uh, FM, MPX, stereo, which is the turntable, and then tape, uh, the on-off switch, and then the tuner. So I'm going to turn it on. It's got, I just had it on, but of course, this is a tube uh, console, so the tubes have to heat up before making any kind of sound. And got to have it in tuned. Well, the signal's not coming in the greatest. I don't have an antenna hooked up to it. I don't know if I can find. But as you can tell, I mean, it sounds great. They had this running when we showed up to pick it up. So, I mean, here, I'm going to turn this off. So, I mean, you can tell that even after all these years, I don't think it's ever been recapped or anything like that, um, that it still works. Now, the turntable sounds like crap well I shouldn't say that it needs a new needle uh, it still has the 78 still attached uh, but the LP side so I'm gonna have to go to voice and music or someplace to get a new uh, needle for that um, and when you do turn it on well I've got the power off that's at 78 rpm so you can hear that noise I'm going to have to tear this apart. It probably needs a new drive wheel on there someplace. So that'll be taken care of later. Um, hold on a second. I'll show, let you see the back side. So here we are. Um, I opened this up last night. As far as the backing, as you can see, it's in really great shape. This thing is really kept well. Um, I did a little dusting out of this. It was, of course, hasn't been opened up for a while. Um, so here we got the amplifier itself um, that runs all the speakers, transformer. One of the speakers, Magnavox. Uh, the reason I thought it was 58, all the speakers start with 58, so I thought maybe it was a 1958 uh, build on that one. And of course you have the 
tuner set up there its tubes and all its circuitry and and um I don't know if that's just working as a crossover or just a part of all that. So it's got the schematics there and I'm going to have to find a little bit more online. But I mean for for what it is that it still works. Uh, there's the outputs for these two wires. That's for the turntable which goes into this box here. Which got all your inputs for tape and whatnot. Tape being, for those who are history buffs, it's not cassette tape, it's actually reel-to-reel -reel tape, or something similar. Eight tracks weren't around when this was created at the time, uh, so it had to have been reel-to-reel, -reel, which would be cool to have, to have set up on this one, maybe. Uh, well, you know what, I'm planning actually on fixing this up as best I can to get the turntable running and actually sell it. My wife and I have a booth. At uh, one of the lo our local indoor flea markets, antique malls, and we're actually going to put this up for sale after I get it finished, fixed. Um, which, at this point, doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. Um, I can't get the spindle out just yet, uh, but fortunately, the C, this little clamp here, is right in the open. I'll take this pad off, um, just lift it up, and see what the problem is. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and. Uh, Cheers. Maybe you'll get lucky you can own this yourself. Bye.